What is good YouTube? Today we are going to be installing some new lights on the truck. Very cheap, very affordable. Let me turn these fans down a little bit because it is hot out here in Louisiana. You gotta, even at nighttime, we gotta have some fans going, you know what I'm saying? So, we bought some cheap fog lights the other day at O'Reilly. So I was like, the hell with it. Might as well get rid of my old ones because the ones that I have in my truck right now are just garbage. Garbage. Okay? They got mildew on them. I don't even care about trying to get them to buff out anymore. They just put out crappy output of light. So, we're going to revert to these, which are Envision's 2 inch LEDs with 4 LEDs on top. I mean, look at that utility four wheel drive pickup. Hey, look, we got a pickup, right? You gotta leave it up to O'Reilly's with crappy stuff like this. <laughs> so, we're gonna see how good they do and figure it out. We're very easy hardware with this kit. Also, went to Lowe's and got me an L bracket with some holes in it so I can cut this up and put it on the frame of the truck under the bumper. Let's get under here. Let me show you guys what we're working with. So if you can see the factory lights are here. I'm not sure if this is the factory bracket. I'm pretty sure it's not because of all this um, the design on this metal. You see we got our factory harness and a factory fog lights. I'm not sure if someone made this for this bumper or what but this was on the truck whenever I bought the truck. We're going to get rid of this and put the L bracket from here to here. This shouldn't even take me 30 minutes, honestly. So we're going to see how long it takes. But very super easy install. We're going to remove these now and then be able to wire everything up and bolt the new ones in. take a look at these real quick I mean I figured why not get some cheap fog lights that do decent because $31 for each one wasn't bad until I get new bumpers I might as well get some better lights for the fog lights so we're just gonna send it and see how long these last so you got your hardware here, it's going to bolt in to that L bracket that I have. Then you got your regular positive and ground, and then you got your little Allen wrench to tighten these down. Very cheap, but I think it'll hold up for what we want it to do. Um, I've already tested the other light out that I bought the first time, and these are super, super bright. So they're way better than the stock output, that's for sure. The only thing I am worried about is... The design of it I'm not sure if it's sealed correctly if it's gonna be a cheap design it's gonna fog up and get foggy during whenever it's humid and raining so that'll be a test for whenever it does rain um, that's the only thing I am worried about and these whenever I tighten them down there I have a feeling when it's shaking like this it's just gonna unscrew these out I don't have a vice grip, but we got to make do with what we got. I keep forgetting to buy one when I go into town, so. I went ahead and started removing the factory harness. We're going to go ahead and cut these so we don't need them anymore. I'm going to cut them further down so if I ever do need to put them back in, we'll be able to cut them back and put them back on. Now we're going to go ahead and use the regular bolt so was already in there. There's no reason. They're still good. They're just got a lot of limestone on it from where I drive or work every day. So they're still in good shape. It's got a little wear and tear on them. They'll be fine. 
by no means is this a good way to do this but this is super easy and super simple and no one's gonna see this bracket except on YouTube for watching me do this so I ain't too worried about it Then we're just gonna take these up real quick, zip time out of the way, and we're done. Holy crap. Oh, those suckers are bright. $62 worth, I think so. Holy poo. I gotta turn those down a little bit. There ain't no way. I'm blinding the crap out of somebody. I need to turn those down to the ground. <laughs> oh yeah. Definitely gonna turn them down a little bit. They don't look as bright going up, but whenever you're looking at them, they're super bright, so they need to be tilted down a little bit, but they look way better than the factory lights that they just switched over onto this bumper. That is the vlog. Very simple install, not much to it. It's not the prettiest, but it'll do. You can't see the brackets behind there. It does what it needs to do, and that's all that matters. $62, you can't beat it. I already had the hardware on the truck, so I don't have to factor none of that in. But um, I think they would, they do pretty well. That is the vlog, fam. Y'all take it easy. Be safe out there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And we also have that push notification bell as well, so you know when I upload. Peace out, guys. One, two, three.